Erin Moran joining us now uh, with a little Weather on Wheels. Yeah, you know, each week our Weather on Wheels program goes to a North Texas school, but today was a little different as the CBS 11 storm chaser headed over to Children's Health in Dallas. Scott Paget had the opportunity to teach nearly 500 North Texas children and families in today's Weather on Wheels. The CBS 11 storm chaser stopped at Children's Medical Center in Dallas. Live from Seacrest Studios, we were able to talk about the weather to nearly 500 patient rooms in Dallas and Plano as part of the children's health system. It's an opportunity to give kids something exciting that's just for them, created just for them, and something that, one, in this instance, they can learn. Give me a couple pumps right here. Uh-oh, I think we're good. As kids are going through treatments, they might not always be able to get outside and experience the day to day weather. Many of the kids weren't able to join us in studio, but we did have a few helpers. There's your tornado. Look at that. We've had sunny days and warm temperatures in North Texas recently. From learning how the sun heats the ground, which then heats the air, to learning how a low pressure system means lousy weather, we taught kids about what they can look for in the sky to indicate what kind of weather is happening. So, what's the opposite then of the good weather? Low pressure. Yeah, and what's low pressure type of weather? Stormy, floody, rain clouds, yeah. just not a good day. FC Dallas's mascot, Tex Hooper, was on hand to turn maybe a tough day in the hospital into a fun learning experience. <laughs> the crushing of the can, uh -huh. I thought that was really cool. And why, why did that happen? Because the pressure inside the can was lower than the pressure outside the can. So the pressure outside the can overcame the pressure inside, so it just crushed it. It's just a little bit of fog. Whoa, did I get you, Sophie? And while some days in the hospital might be a bit gloomy and cloudy, we always know that above those clouds, the sun is always shining. Scott Paget, CBS 11 News.